Sebelum lanjut, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you. Honestly, I just Welcome think of maybe on international stage. I don't think we've seen him this season, have we? This is another hero. I think it's another hero added to the list here. Still catching up, though. That's just me missing the utility jungler meta. Welcome to game two. It's the grand finals. Fnatic Onyx Philippines facing off against Aurora. Last game just lasted underneath 18 minutes. Yeah. So it was still a very manageable duration game. But now, with this new hero, I wonder if Aurora was ready for it. I don't, you know, that's a good question because I don't think a lot of people probably were thinking about this. I would have loved to heard. I know, you know, you guys got a glimpse of Wolf is here. He loves to do his predictions. I wonder if he, would, he even predicted this because I think he's over on the Filipino stream. But uh, with that being said, yeah, you're going to have this kind of play a part. And it's probably so where you didn't want to give too many of those options of mobility to Yue because of the fact that he's playing the Valentina here again. And he's got some options now, what he wants to take. It could even be an avatar of the Guardian, but at some you know, point in the game, it's mostly going to be the real world manipulation himself. But I think one of the things here that could play to the advantage of Fnatic Honor Philippines is, yes, Kirk on this Gattacacha. We know how good this hero has been and the Revitalize. So that's always something that Rora has to keep in mind, especially if they try to actually take out Kirk. And it's going to be difficult to take out Kirk alone. If anything, it's Kirk who's going hunting and Aurora who's constantly shifting their zone, shifting their box. That penalty zone, that Zaman Force, yeah. it's going to constantly change. And luckily, they have the tools. I'm loving the heal man. I'm loving the Rafaela on Renegade. It's a very different flavor compared to how he was looking for fights yeah. with the Ruby earlier. Here, he's controlling the flow of battle. He's saying, all right, we heal up here. They can't come close. We're going to Holy Baptism over here. And with his first turtle up, let's see how Edward can reach level four first. And then maybe, hold up, hold up, hold up. There it is. There's the hook, iron hook on Renage. He flickers out defensively. Super Friend set up that box. Still the fight for the turtle. Yue's got his own real world manipulation. He's going to drop it down. Kirk taking a couple of shots. Edward might still go. Try to get the kill. Has the passive, but there's Kirk. First blood in the hands of Yue, plus the objective to Rora. That box is too mighty, and it's too large. Not only can they steal it with Yue's IMU, but again, you have to consider the Zaman Force. You got to consider Edward. Yep. And it came into play, literally. You saw how as early as Super Friends locked in uh, the real world Revelation, King Kong had to think twice, like, I can't, I can't walk in there. Yeah. I don't have the damage just yet. Not only that, but you saw how important the placement was for it, you know, where Super Friends set up. And it was just a little bit out of reach, right? We're around that turtle pitch. Just the tip. Just the tip, basically. You know, and UA, he had the right positioning. Well, again, that is knowing where Friends put it, so he had better information. Now going to the gold lane again, this was a interesting interaction in game one. It was clearly doming dominating in the early. And then, oh, wait, oh, oh wait. King Kong, okay, he's going to get out. Fracture going to be used too, so. Able to escape that one, as you were saying about the gold lane. Yeah, earlier it was clearly Doming who was in control from the first minute to about the 10th, yeah. up until Kevin was saying, yeah, I don't care. I'm just, I'm a damage dealer and I'm a sponge. I'm gonna go for it. Take me, right? But now, look at this, an old flame for a Kelra. Some people would argue he's the Filipino savage, all right? Let's <laughs> call him that. And this plus the... Franco yeah. gives him so much control over the battlefield. Like, you can't even sit in certain bushes once Kelra oh. gets hot. Oh, no! Oh, okay. They do flicker out, but good attempt. Good try to catch there. Ethnop going to survive. But, yeah, I think that's part of it. You know, as you mentioned, that combination between the Franco and the Beatrix. Like, remember, there was a time, too, when we saw the Franco a lot, it was, what, the focusing mark back then that was brought up a lot of times when Franco was picked up more? And that's when Bea was big. Yeah. That was, I'd say, 2022, Malaysia, MSE 2022, right? Yeah. That's when uh, those uh, M4 two as well, were maybe? inseparable. A little bit of M4 as well. Check this out. The turtle trade for the orange. King Kong one step ahead. I think Fnatic Onyx are just letting this go, but making it hard for Aurora to secure it alone. It's a 4v2 situation. Yeah, there's a lot of bodies down there in the bot, too. Demon Kai will get that second turtle of the game. So they go do through some trades. That's the plan for Fnatic Onyx Philippines right now. And if anything from the last game, you know, it shows that they're willing to play the patient game if they have to. And I think that's what they got to do, really. But 
step on the clutch when it's most Whoa. important. The hook coming in from Big the bruiser. Hook with the flicker. Are they able to cap out the kill? Edward will flicker. King Kong, though, going to jump in, gets the penalty zone, and it's too much as Yue will clean up the kill. And Edward, with the body of Smith, able to survive. Well, I'll be damned. Yue stole the fracture. You have put it right underneath King Kong, if I'm not mistaken. The beast gets slain by his own. By, not by his own hand, but by, by his, his own by his own tool. Tool, basically. Dear right? Lord, and this is exactly what I'm saying. Aurora have to play it controlled, yeah. disciplined, but no one to switch it up. And boy, oh boy, did they switch it up well there. Was it not Bruce Gosar with the hook? It was. You know, and uh, it was a good attempt because it, it doesn't get better. Than, it doesn't get much better than that. You got the hook. You flicker to the turret. And you kill the jungler. Yeah. Like, you know, so it was a good attempt from Fnatic on the Philippines, but Rora definitely counterplayed it. Just shows how in sync and how well accustomed and attuned their communications are. Being the newest kid on the block, Aurora announced as the newest franchise in season 14, are now in the grand finals playing like this, making the Thunder Gods sweat. Six minutes and a half in, about a thousand and change up ahead. Uh, is it just me or is Fnatic on it playing for Turtle? They're, this time around, they might want to get this one, unless they just keep trading objectives. It's the last one. Last one of the game. They don't want to. I wouldn't assume they want to give three for three to Rora, but maybe they're also just saying we don't care. Yep. It looks like that's the case here. They're going for the perp. Yeah, it's going to be up. Oh, they get a call though. They actually might try to make a play. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're going to try to make their way. UA has the real one manipulation. He's going to get hooked by the iron hook. Demon Kite will still get the turtle, though. Brusco in trouble. UA is going to go down. They trade it out for Brusco. <laughs> and FNOP keeping things together in the mid lane. The one for one trade mid for the Rome. And I don't know if they're going to get more. Kirk not going to catch that unbreakable. That's a small side grade. And throughout that whole fight, it started off with Fnatic on and just catching up. That was King Kong pushing that top lane and then making a beeline for the turtle fight. I mean, I think three out of three. Great start for Aurora, but Fnatic Onik not exactly out of it just yet. It's small little trades, you know? For every big haymaker from Aurora, yeah. Fnatic gets like a body shot. And I think that's why you really have to kind of look at, once we get to these lore takes and everything else, the way that Fnatic Onik will approach those might be differently than what they did for these three turtles, because, you know, the itemization as well is important to them. There's a Malefica Roar now for King Kong. Going to be working to take out some of the tankier members, and so far that's been Edward on this Terizla. They got to be able to cap him out, and they know they have to work against that passive too that keeps them healthy, plus heal man. So that's a lot to deal with if you're and FNOP. that, I think, is the fact of the matter. Something that we don't really mention much, the fact that Remy J is controlling exactly where Aurora can go and how much of them Fnatic on it gets their hands on. He's the, look, he's at the center of every single rotation. Yep. He's just a stone throw away from Doming, a little bit from Yue, and then DK, the smiling demon. He's having a great time. Just, all right, I'm going to rotate, I'm going to rotate, I'm going to clean up. Oh, we might see some 1v1 here. Uh oh Now King Kong doesn't want to fight it off yet. He's still behind. You know, he's a couple levels behind here at this point. Itemization-wise, too, he's probably just down maybe a half item or an item or so. Which I think is accurate, because the last time I checked, the beast was down about 2k. Ah. That's tough. That is tough. That's, tough place to be. Whoa, 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 whoa! Again, the play coming out from Bruso. Gets the hook with the flicker and he finds Renegade. Perfect target, still going back. Yo, there's the jump. Avatar the Guardian won't be able to find anybody, but they're looking still for more. Edward, UA drops down the real world manipulation to keep Fnatic Onic at bay. But this might be a window. They're gonna start up the Lord here. Small victory for Fnatic Onic, picking off the Hitman. Now it's a 5v4. Doming taking the top flank. I don't know if Fnatic knows. Lord down to a fifth of its health. Kirk not going to be able to get the flicker. Oh, Doming goes in, forcing King Kong off the Lord. They're looking to take it, and Demon Kite will get it off the play. They're still really low. Kirk, though, looking for more as Doming falls, but Demon Kite picks up Super Fritz. Kirk next on the chopping block as it's a double for DK. They get the Lord and they get some kills. Now, momentum for Aurora. A kill on the next standard is definitely something to celebrate, but if it comes at the cost of Kirk and Super Friends, I don't know if that's just a fadeaway punch, a sucker punch in a retreat anyways. Here's an instant replay brought to us by Infinix. 
I think they gave too much to Demokai, man. Yeah. That was a great forward positioning and idea from Domek, too. You know, coming up from that angle more on the top side, enough to just force King Kong off. The Lord allowing that small window for DK to come in and actually get it. That was a great play. And so they'll further themselves, like getting these turrets now, give them that advantage to move around the map. Lord's going to be worked on pretty quickly, but FNOP looks to hold on to as much as they can. And it looks like they might actually hold on even to the tier one in mid. Fnatic, Onyx so fundamentally sound. They understand the economics of the trade, these neutral objectives, these kills even, I'd consider they thought about if we're willing to do this yeah. so that the Lord only marches up to here. I think that's sound math to me. If I give up two bodies to protect tier two and tier one in mid, by all means. Especially if they can keep it together for the next Lord fight eventually when it comes up. And you know what we haven't seen so far? What is it? A big AOG yet. An Avatar of the Guardian landing on multiple members. Kirk tried. Kirk tried. I think that's one of the things you really get when you invest in Rafaela. Yeah. And so far, Renegade, I'd say... That little speed boost is enough? I'd say he's about three and a half uh, of the fifth way to getting a full payoff. It's good, but really we haven't seen much of a flicker holy baptism, yeah. uh, re-engage off of a holy healing. That's what you're looking for. That's the money with a Rafaela. Look at the damage dealt here by Super Prince, the monster mage. I think the only thing that's making this more of a deceptive stat is the fact that Yue's timing is off the charts. Yeah. Yue is straight up mutant levels of reaction. He's, He's waiting for the real manipulation. All right, all right, two seconds later. Yeah, just Pops. like that, that's the sound. And you know, you gotta, you gotta- It's more epic than it sounds. It is. But you also, what else is epic is the fact that Super Friends is undefeated on this Eve. So he's just protecting a record. Yeah, he's he's playing for that record to keep it at 100% oh. right now. Edward. Picked it up four times, I believe, throughout the playoffs. UA as well, locking this in. Wants that real world manipulation for this Lord to come up. You saw that too. So the Sea Halbert was picked up. They've got that available to them to kind of deal with the heel man here. It's the gold standard that Fnatic Onyx are waiting on. I'd reckon King Kong understands the situation. King Kong is aware. The Beast has to choose his fights very carefully. Now the Lord Dance has begun. Lord now at three quarters health. Upper quarter spawned. Kirk looking for a taunt. Gonna go for the reset. Penalty zone gonna be used by Edward. They drop it in. A flicker already gonna be committed and they disengage after seeing both those real world manipulations oh! drop down. But Renege will get taken out. This might be the opportunity. Kirk doesn't have the Avatar of the Guardian, but they'll set up around the lore. Hitman gets hit with a double tap. Kelra plus Super Prince. Enough damage to pop the Rafael, and now it's another 4v5. Remember, the last time this happened, Aurora scored the Lord. I wonder if Fnatic Onyx can fix that now. Edward gonna hold up the front. Kirk as well. Edward less than half health. He's gonna jump in with the penalty zone again. Edward goes down, and Demon Kite gets the Lord again, keeping Aurora. Their hope alive for now. They'll disengage from the fight after losing Edward. Universal truth. Suyu with a seven retribution, already very difficult to contest regardless of who started the Lord Dance. Add on top, the world-class talent of a Demon Kite, the Smiling Demon, the very first MPLI champion that the Philippines has ever had back in 2023 in Jakarta, Indonesia. Come on. Come on. Come on, even the beast has to consider the fact that what given he is down a large amount. Yeah. That's still a that's the, that's a that's a perfect combination. They, they were down a man, Joseph. They were down a man. They were down a man and look right now, Demon Kite looking to hunt down the king of the jungle, oh King Kong. No. DK versus King Kong. Looks like he's just gonna go ahead and wave off and be like, yeah, I'll clear this out. Let them do their thing here. So Lord's already taken care of. What does Aurora actually get off this Lord take? Oh, there's the pole again! Iron Hook gonna be able to find Domang! Oh. And Kirk goes in with a massive Avatar of the Guardian, and they collapse down. Edward on the run, has Renegade's speed to help him out. Demon Kite will get away as well. So even with the Avatar of the Guardian hitting three members, they only get one. I couldn't name a more perfect target. It's not like there was anything Domen could have done. He has a flicker. And I think it was a three or four seconds cooldown when he got hit by the bite and the hook by Brusco. So that was a 
random penny that they just played. Like, oh, look at this. That's, that's, that's kind of yeah. how it is. It's though, a lucky right? pickoff. It that's that's Franco though. Like think about all the times we've seen Franco in competitive play. But it's not as simple. It's that one hook. It's the one hook factor. And the Fnatic Onyx, because of that kill onto Doming and how well they've taken care of the map, have nullified Aurora's gold lead. They're up now by about 500 gold. See the massive difference between Kelra and Doming. That's what I was telling you earlier. Yep. Despite what's happening between Demon Kite and King Kong, as long as Kelra hasn't died yet, and they keep feeding kills, feeding kills, sacrificing. Yep. Blood for the blood god, for the gold standard. For the gold standard. He's, he's gonna get there. He's already there. I mean, look at the gold difference right now, and this is really what you're talking about is that, what, 2,000-ish, almost, almost 2,000? And the question is, who's going to find him? Who's going to get him? Is it going to take another Domeng flank? Is it going to take Demon Kite show himself early so that he just bullies Kelra into a kill? It's difficult. There's a lot that Arafaela can do. The difficult part of it is Kelra so protected with this lineup. But not the dive of Beatrix like this. Yeah. Not the dive Kelra. And now, look at this, he gets the win in nature. So it's, it's even more difficult because even if you get in range of your Aurora to get to Kelra, he's gonna be able to move. I mean, we've seen a preview of his mechanics so far. And that's to protect him from Demon Kite, one of the easier ways to get at him. But if he's just standing there, him versus Doming, him versus Yue, it's another story. Yue and Doming would have died from a Wesker shot. Yeah. At this point. Before anything happened. I think they're gonna play into the iron hook here once again. And it looks like Aurora wants to go ahead and just allow Fnatic on Philippines to go ahead and play into this the way they want to. The ultimate tempo breaker. The ultimate format of a formation breaker. Look at this, Brusco showing himself. Kelra also visible. But one thing Aurora have good is their bush control. They're controlling the river brush, making sure that the pixel brush is safe, but look at the look pressure at Fnatic on. Onyx is done! They're going coast to coast! This is what we've seen King Kong do time and time again. He'll play the map at a macro level that some junglers don't do. Is he gonna get in time here for this Lord? RWM set up by Yue. A quarter of the health on the Lord here. King Kong turn the fight. Kurt won't land the Avatar of the Guardian. And Super Fritz firing back with Domeng. We'll get the Lord before he's taken out. He's down. Edward goes down next. And they're on the hunt. Fnatic Onic Philippines, they have to deal with the Lord again as two fall for Aurora. And now, I think for the first time in a while, this is a trade that Fnatic Onic are happy to Whoa. take. Whoa, King Kong burst him down. Oh, he's gonna go. King Kong does it again. How many times have we seen him do this? He'll take that 1v1. The beast devours the smiling demon. A shutdown kill on DK. And now, despite having a Lord, Aurora are up against the ropes. Four members of FNOP in the base with Renage and Yue left to their own devices. They should be able to defend, but the base turrets will be worked on. They hold on to one in the bottom lane. And Kirk gonna jump out defensively here. But man, what a swing for Fnatic Onik. It was a long time coming. I'd say it was a spring, just coiled up, coiled up, coiled up, up until it just gets released. And the fact that King Kong held out, King Kong was down about what, like a thousand, two thousand yeah. for a while? It and was. it was just the threat of Kelra keeping Aurora honest. And now suddenly, he's up a thousand. Man, I, you know, we saw this just in the previous games throughout the playoffs even. If you've just been watching King Kong alone, he loves to do that. He loves to play these side lanes and put pressure in up. And then either he'll join those fights for the Lord Takes or he won't. And you have to respond to him. He just makes you acknowledge him. And now Fnatic Onik are forcing Aurora to acknowledge their threat of taking the Lord in about a minute and change. Upper quarter of the map, this long lane has to be worked on again. We talked about how King Kong keeps doing this, how King Kong is so good at working the long lane. Now he has to find a way to get back around there and then force a response from Aurora. Ooh, by the way, right now he's going full on Ube. This I was is yeah. Ube Aurora right now. They're playing around Red J, 100%. Looking at just the formation that they're rolling with, too. And that's the thing, you know, they have to kind of keep their head on the swivel. Even if they have this movement speed buff from Renegade here, Kirk is, was looking for the jump earlier on. I think what makes that jump something that Kirk has to hold on to is the threat of Edward. 
Mr. Consistent. Yeah. In that last Lord fight, it seemed like he had it. But he got bursted down so quick by Kelra that he didn't even get the pop his old. Yeah, so did. if we, someone oh, my, what? That's a huge iron hook. Edward, as we were speaking of him, will survive. He spent his flicker. He spent his flicker. That's good timing, it's though. What you gotta do. It's what you got to do. Impressive. Up. Impressive how we got away. Unfortunate that he can't use it offensively. Yeah. Good that he stays up, but now this Lord, and f -top knows this. It's, that's a minor advantage for them as they approach this fight. And we're getting in that territory now where these items, potions, and everything else will be picked up. So they're gonna go ahead and stand this off. They know Edward can't force that penalty zone the way he probably wants to in this fight. It's an honest engage from Mr. Consistent, and that's why, that's why Aurora. Oh, full on Ube. There's a Purify. Oh, it's a flicker out. It's a dash out. Is he gonna break out? I don't know. King Kong, limit testing there. Queller shot. Kelra lines it up as well. He's gonna find Renage. Look at the backside though. You ain't gonna be in trouble, and King Kong will pick him off. He's gonna go straight for the base. King Kong doesn't care, gets a kill, and goes for the win. Sebelum lanjut, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thank you.